there you see the tail of the tape then, age of 32, and always representing Harlow and Bolsover, Jamie Robertson, the ginger rocket, and he will fight with fire tonight, no doubt about that, against Jakub Lukowski, who has been in against the prospects uh, recently. Last uh, 20 opponents who's been in against unbeaten prospects, 12 of the last 14 have, have had the O. Uh, he's up against a different kind of fighter, but uh, perhaps a more road-tested and higher-level fighter than some of those that he's been in against, uh, Laskovsky. And as ever, Barry Robinson brings the heat. Yeah. He only knows, knows what the fight one way, doesn't he, Jamie Robinson? But it's, a, it's effective for him. You know, he, he always keeps his hands high when he's moving forward. Those tries will be on the jab, but he wants to get that, that long, more powerful right hand in the play as quick as he possibly can. Very different prospect in front of him tonight, Jamie Robinson, than, than Danny Ball. Last time in Manchester back in May, that was on the, was that the Lara Wood 2 uh, bill? Yep. Um, and, and Ball, you know, just in terms of scope and size and everything was just, was just too big and too scopey. And ultimately he was, he was pulled out after eight rounds by his corner. It's a com completely different setup for him uh, tonight and a good opportunity for him to get back on track. Busy as ever, Robinson. And at the age of 32, George sort of find a run at trying to get a, a, a sort of meaningful title in his career. Yeah, it could be, it could be, it could be. I mean, he shapes up really well, really nice. You know, and he's trying to press uh, here, Robinson, from the center of the ring as well. But Lewowski is, if he, he's not bad at distance and he throws loose sort of awkward shots. Robinson's going to have to be on his A game here. He doesn't want to get caught with these shots and then build on the success he can have when he closes the distance here. He goes left and right body and then try and bring them shots up through the middle. And he's got that he's got that style, Robinson, hasn't he, Barry, where he can, he, he can put himself in, in harm's way. He's, he's right into the engine room. Yeah, yeah, because he's fully committed to coming forward, isn't he? And he wants to land those big shots. And, not, and also, he can sometimes be a victim of just loading up with some of his punches. That was a prime example there. So if you fall short, you know, that can tie you off, but he is full of energy. The biggest problem he's going to have with Lukowski here is trying to break through that guard. He's got to try and break him down somewhere, try and find the gaps. So you need, with that, it's usually variation in your punches, you know, finding different angles of attack, not just straight down the middle, which he, Robinson pretty much is always that. That's good for him in there, though, just working the body off that right hand. It's a little roll to his work with, with work wonders when he's coming forward. Well, it's just more lateral movement. He's been in a few of those 10 round fights as well, so six scheduled tonight. More of a, a sprint for him, and well, this is going to be his style anyway, but he, he, he can put his foot down, and that's exactly what he's doing at the end of this first. Yeah, landed with a good right hand there, Robertson to finish the round. And this is, a, as we move into the second, this is a, a fight that Robinson's expected to win, get his, his kind of career back on track, get to winning ways. But I suppose also a, a good exercise, having come into this on the, on the back, Georgia, that, that first sort of career stoppage. He, he wasn't knocked out, the referee didn't intervene, the corner pulled him out, but that, that, at least that's something that's got to be exercised. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, it doesn't matter what your record is, it usually has some sort of effect on your next fight. Um, and not always the, 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 you know, the best effect. So we want to be putting that right. We want to put it right with a really good performance here tonight. Doesn't want to be slow or or cumbersome. So yeah, but, uh, the positive side, but it's, it's a really interesting fight up until this point. So Laskowski's awkward. Switch it in, punches loose and long, changes the angle on a lot of the shots. So Robin's got to be switched on. He's good, but he doesn't want to tr like follow his man round. He ideally wants to sort of cut him off, try and get him in the corner, and then try and get his good work off. But at this stage, this is more of Zkowski's fight. If he's at this sort of distance where he can try and keep it on his terms, punching long and loose, this is better for Robinson. Not far off with that right hand there, Robinson. I could landing on the target there, though, with that nice little trap in the right hand. The fact that he's busy, that's just going to keep Larkowski in his place, I think. Going to keep him just being the defensive. Yeah, it's not quite, he's not quite got the dimensions of, a, of Danny Ball. He's not hitting um, 
and hurting like, like Danny Ball, but he's up against another sort of long, tall fighter tonight. What's the, the best way for Robinson to get to get to maximise his his style, Barry? He's got to be busy. I think he's got to be effective. It, it, you're going to ask. You're going to ask. You're going to. We're going to start talking about things that he doesn't do. And I think you know, maybe this stage of his career, he's probably never going to do. So you've got to think of what, what he does, and, and be the best. That's for him. It's it's busy. Need down the middle like this. You always just get close. As long as you get that front foot close, you can work away. But, but what he can do is roll. He's not going to be spinning around the target, but he can roll when he gets close. And that'll give him momentum for the left hook, and also will will avoid some of the fire that comes back when he does slide into distance. He doesn't, have to take, he doesn't have to change his shape, all he's got to do is bend his legs with a roll from either side. A little flick of the tongue there from Laskowski. After that uh, flurry, quite a few of those shots from Robinson in that uh, exchange did, did miss. But You can see Laskowski knows how to, to handle himself, knows how to kind of navigate the situations. Into round three, then. Just a couple of moments in that round where Laskowski was emboldened through a, a couple of hooks. Even some of the hooks that were the problem against uh, Danny Ball. It looks like um, Laskowski's maybe just maybe just warming into it, George. Yeah, no, he is. And in that last round, even though Robinson was pressing him, he always had an easy escape out to his left. Whether he be in this sort of southpaw stance or in the orthodox stance, he had the easy escape to his left. So I think if Robinson was thinking, oh, you've got your short, close the distance, but just eliminate that exit that he had, breaking out like this, out to his left, it'll make him really press and make him work and put him under pressure where he's in, he's in firing line, he's in punching distance, and he's made, made to work. Good day of work for Rhodes. He's bent his legs in to the jab upstairs and a small little hook and bent his legs for the for the body shot. Yeah, a couple of good meaty hooks downstairs there. Given it's only a, a relatively short fight, good to see. And again, little glimmers from Laskowski as well that potentially he could be dangerous if Robinson isn't switched on. Yeah, but Robert, to be fair, Robinson, he always keeps his shape, you know, even, even in defeat. You know, he's always hands high, always elbows, tucked in nice and tight. So, and you, again, it's got to be a good shot that hits him, got to be a good shot that hurts him. So this is a bit better where he's, he's trying to cut him off from moving around to his left. It's coming across the target. But then he just needs, if anything, he's over-exaggerating that, get right on that oh. side. And then, Kowski hasn't got an escape. It's a good exchange here. And a couple of good shots. That was good, wasn't it? He managed to, he managed to prize the guard open there for one of the first times, Robinson. That's the right hand went, went underneath as well. Maybe, Barry, one of the first times we, we saw Laskowski slightly ruffled. Well, Laskowski, well, for me, you know, Southport is, is, is where he's getting his most successful, where he's maybe his most elusive. So when he's when, so when, South, when, when Orthodox here, Robinson jumps in and I think he has more success again. He did it there, Robinson, and he bent the legs, you know, didn't roll, but moved the head a little bit more and just needed to fire off that movement. Another busy round from Robinson. And to the body again. Good for Robinson, a little step back there, making the skull she missed before he come back with a little left hand of his own. Yeah, a bit of thought in it, was there, at the end of that round? Sometimes it does take a couple of rounds, sort of get back in the full flow. And Laskowski, he's, he's, you know, he's, he's not straightforward, he's not there in front of you. And we just saw, as we move into the fourth of a scheduled six, we just so maybe Robinson started to get a bit more rhythm in his work, Barry. You touched on it. He's there was a, a little step back, just just starting to remind himself of. It's all very well pushing forward, but it needs to be a, a bit of thought behind it. Yeah, and he's just bending his legs a little bit more. He's getting a little bit of a spring to his step, and that'll, that'll give him. You know, with that, it gives you some fluid, fluidity in your work. Oh, 
Yeah, just a bit cuter with the distance. Now Robinson. It's better head movement there as well. Lovely head movement there from Robinson. Yeah, and he took the other shot on, kind of on the forearms as well. Just getting the balance there. He's still got to be busy. But again, but uh, no, now he's a little bit more economical of his work. He's moving a little bit better, looser. And then if he doesn't throw enough punches, then he'll start getting caught because he's not being busy enough. So you get the balance right and it makes you a better fighter overall. Yeah, good variety in this round for Robinson, head and body as well. He's given a different look to that jab. Sometimes it comes to the head, sometimes it comes to the chest. Then he'll come with the left, right hooks to the body. Maybe just starting to figure out the timing of Skalski. Covered that sort of loopy right hand that came in and fired a straight right himself. Yeah, just making Laskovsky work a, a bit more. I jump, I, I have a thing, I have a little, not a theory, I think. You know, when fighters switch, they're not as good defensively from the from their weaker the weaker position, whichever their, their natural position is. They're always you know, if they're natural southpaw, then they switch over the orthodox. They're not defensively as good. Defensively, they might be great. So when they switch, you've got to jump on them. Much much better last round and into this fourth from Robinson. A good work rate again, as you'd expect from him. But it's the it's the method behind everything. It's just a, a little just a little bit cuter. The right hand there from Robinson, little short hook on the guard. He's putting his foot down, isn't he, this last minute. And he's not taking much, which is which is the good sign, George. Yeah, he's starting to really crank up the pressure now. So he's still sticking with that great variety for head and body. Then body shots that one there, left hook behind the elbow. He just, just senses... This just at the end here, he's just for forcing Laskovsky to fight. Taking every single second of that minute in between rounds as well, Laskovsky, as we move into the fifth. Let's see if Robinson can, can build and build and build. And this is the perfect fight for me. You know, just if, he, if there's any confidence lacking from that ball defeat, you know, like George was saying, you never, you, you always want that fight just back to get you back into your confidence. This is the, good, the perfect fight for it. The guy who you know, knows his role, but is awkward and tricky. So I think, you know, for Robertson, they're giving confidence that he's had to work on himself a little bit in this fight. You know, without, not physically, but mentally, he has to work on himself, trying to adapt. And he's done it quite well, I thought. And how, how much of that, George, is because he's had to kind of work out his opponent, or how much of it is just had to work out? himself and where where he's at and where he needs to get to kind of adjusting as he's gone along yeah I, I always try to put a finger on why fighters look flat in their first fight back after a loss especially a stoppage loss and you know I had it where you know you think the camp's gone gone really good uh, and you think you're gonna go out there and, and be on song but you just there's always something that could have been better but I'd say I think Roberts is boxing really well really really well and he's built into this fight you know He's working hard to try and get rid of the man in front of him. Try and make a statement that he's back, he's back in business. So I feel, I mean, it's probably a bit late now, but he's not feel with Robinson if he could make 140, he's just less likely to bump into the, the bigger guys like Dan, Danny Balls, etc., etc. But uh, I think this is six on the bounce. Where, where he's, what was he, 143 tonight? Last sort of five or so, he's been 147 or, or even slightly bigger. So maybe. It's well to wait for Hiron in from him. Makes you realise what a good performance that was from Paddy Donovan against Danny yeah, Ball in, yeah. in uh, Dublin the other week. Yeah, Paddy Ball got electric, didn't he, against Danny Ball? He really did. And looks like a future star, maybe, here, Paddy Donovan. Oh, he just missed with that right hand. He was just, just off it. Do you know what I mean? he, he's found it a little bit more difficult in this round, actually. Robinson to hit the target that clean. I think he's been a little, a little bit more elusive here, Laskowski. Oh, 
And whether that's because that, just the sense I got at the end of the fourth that Laskovsky was going to position where he's either going to go into his shell, as George was suggesting, or the last 10 seconds he started fighting back as if he felt that he absolutely had to just to stave off the, the pressure. But he, he's found a bit more of the room, the, the kind of mental room that he, he had early on in the fight. Here we go then. Last round on the, the comeback for Jamie Robinson. He fought at a good pace, a really, really solid fourth round in particular. Third was pretty good, third and fourth. Couldn't quite build on it in the in the fifth. Well, up to this point, I think the fight's done his, done his, done his purpose, hasn't it? And that's what he's done, it's a confidence builder here back here for, for Robinson. I think that's what, it, that's what it's been. I think he's boxed really well in stages. Had to think a little bit, adapt, but there's been no danger attached to the fight for him. Is it a good time to, for, for boxers to fight just before Christmas? The best time. Just... Fight, always fight before Christmas. Uh, then you can enjoy your Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I won my world title which is, what was it, like six days before Christmas. And then got paid in March. <laughs> <laughs> Santa didn't come for you with, uh, with your purse envelope. No, no never mind. You pre-ordered pre all the presents as oh, well. Mate. Extra big ones this year. <laughs> Went big for Easter. I like before, that, I, before I got paid, they could have paid me cash on the night. <laughs> Here we go then, into the final couple of minutes of this one. Sometimes with opponents like Laskovsky, you can only, you can kind of only do what you can do, really. Not sure what much, much more Robinson could have done. No, he, he, he's done well. He's done really, really well. As I say, first first fight back, seven months after a loss. He's boxed really well and he's built into the fight. He's improved as the rounds have gone on. In this final round, um, Laskovsky, you know, He's still being quite elusive. He's still switching in. He's, he's throwing unorthodox shots. Maybe the pace is starting to catch up a slight touch for Robinson. He ain't able to sort of put it on him, try and get that finish in the last minute. But a great solid effort from him in this fight. You know, I think he's, he's a clear winner. There's the right hand. There's a nice left hook to the body as well from Robinson prior to that. What do you think will be on his New Year's wish list, Barry? Robinson? You he, he might get back in the sort of, sort of title contention, won't he? You know, I, I think he, you know, he, he still have hopes and aspirations that one or two wins and he'll it, it, be close to maybe a British title eliminator. But you know, he's going to be one of those guys, unfortunately, that he's going to have to take a fight a relatively short notice against a bigger name to get through the win. But tonight it was a good performance from him. It a, I think it was a, a confidence building fight that he wanted and needed, and, he, and I think he produced a, a good display throughout. Well, he's got that, uh, we think, that win before Christmas. Blown away the cobwebs, maybe exercised a, a few demons. Referee Kieran McCann scores the bout 60 to 54. And your winner, Jamie the Ginger Rocket Robinson. Robinson gets the job done, wins. And uh, as ever, a little bit of discussion and de debrief, smiles all round, they both did their job. And Robinson, George can go and enjoy his Christmas with the family. Yeah, he certainly can. Uh, great support for him here tonight. Uh, win, solid, won every round. And yeah, Christmas is coming, he's, he's happy to be, uh, I'm sure he'll be happy to be home, ready for Christmas. Jamie, back to winning ways. Before we talk about the fight, it said on your entrance and the T-shirt that you're wearing tonight, this fight was dedicated to someone. Yeah, my, one of my good pals growing up, Lee Manley. First day I walked in the classroom, he was my pal. Like we've become best pals when we was young. Always kept in contact. He went in the army and uh, come out and didn't get a right rehab work and stuff. And he suffered badly with PTSD and obviously led down the track. But his boys are here tonight, Brody and Rory. I don't know where you're at, boys, but I wanted a picture of you in the ring. I wanted a picture of you in the ring with me. Uh, but I don't know where you're at. 
Uh, frustrating night. We fought. When I spoke to my manager, I speak to him all the time. I said to him, listen, I want somebody who turns up and fights. I boxed for the English title last time against a good kid. I wanted to jump in with someone who was actually going to have a go. If I knew it was him and he was going to do what he was doing, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have bothered even uh, like entertaining that fight. I'm sorry to everybody about the fight. I hope I put a good performance in. Um, but yeah, looking at big title fights next. I don't, want to, I don't want to box any of these people again. I'm in this sport to be, win titles. I'm a prize fighter. I'm in it for money titles. If you've got money, you've got a title. My manager's name's Scott Kalo. I'm game as fuck. Let's have it. And the important thing tonight was to get back to winning ways. How important was it to end the year on a win? Oh, listen, I've, I never thought I'd get stopped as a fighter. Uh, so to go through the demons and that, and then even to box a journeyman tonight, just dealing with them demons and that. Like coming in back in under the lights where the last time you got stopped and got dropped and I got beat by a very good boy. Normally I get, if you get beat, you want to be beat by a better person and I got beat by a better person that night. So it was a bit easier to deal with, but um, yeah, it's good to be back. Good to feel buzzing again. Nice to get a win. Not the win that I wanted, but uh, now, we, now we can march on towards the title fights in 24. So. Are you going to head straight back into the gym ready for those title fights or you're having a break? No, I'm straight in. I have to. Like I tested the cancer about five years ago. And if I'm not in the gym, my, my testosterone is as high as everybody else's. Um, I can't have gel pads or anything like that because of uh, drug testing and stuff like that. So um, I've, heard, I've heard you can speak to UCAD and that, but I, don't, I, ain't, I ain't looked into it. I feel fine. I just know that if I'm in the gym, I'm healthy, my mind's healthy, and that's all that matters nowadays. So, thank you. Thank you for the interview. Nice to see you as well, Melissa. Yeah, and you. Back to anyways. Well done. Thank you.